let's be honest, digging through Google Analytics can feel like trying to solve a Rubik's Cube blindfolded. You want the numbers, but half the time you're left guessing what's actually going on with your site. And if you've ever tried to get a clear answer about your visitors, sales or user journeys, you know how frustrating it gets. Well, instead of wrestling with complicated dashboards or worrying about privacy issues, I'm going to show you a plugin that gives you real accurate insights right inside your WordPress. You don't have to mess with extra setup or sending your data off to some third party servers. The plugin I'm talking about is called Analytics WP and you can use it as an alternative to Google Analytics or alongside it. It makes everything easier from observing exactly how visitors navigate through your site and you can even track your WooCommerce sales with a couple of clicks. Now as you see there is a download trial button. If you click on it you'll get the plugin free for 7 days. You can test it out and see it by yourself. But at the moment I'm gonna log into my own site and let's see what's happening here. Now after installing the plugin go to the dashboard. It's down below here and you'll see all the relevant analytics. You can filter by days whether it's 7, 30 days old time or custom. There are some filters and some advanced filters are coming soon. If there are any visitors on your site, then it will be displayed here. Also, if you take a look at the live events, you'll see what's happening on your site. For example, currently it says no events to display, but if I open my site in a private view and browse on a site, let's just browse for a second. Now, you'll see all these live events are displayed here. On the second screen, I'm going to click on a link and it automatically refreshes and shows me what is happening here. You'll see what is the event type. Currently it's page view. Anonymous means that the person is not logged in. You'll see from this URL they came to this one here. Time and the details about the device. So these are the live events. I'm gonna close it down and let's go to the dashboard. What else you can see here? You can see total page views, views per person, and if you take a look at the tooltips, you'll see the explanation, what is what. You'll see the window shoppers rate. Those are the people who visit just one page on your site. Then they leave and never come back. So this is the window shoppers rate. Now what makes Analytics WP especially good is that it is incredibly accurate. It's ad blocker proof and it uses only first party cookies. Also, it never sends data to anyone. This gives it a huge advantage over third party analytics platforms like Google Analytics. And what's even more awesome is that Analytics WP shows at least 20% more data than Google Analytics. Awesome stuff. Now, if you scroll down, you'll see popular referrers, popular pages. You can open them up in a separate pop up here, also here, and here. You'll see device breakdown and as you see, basically 96% of users visit my site from the desktop. And this is the dashboard here. I already covered live events, now let's go to the integrations. And currently it has an integration with WooCommerce. Later I'm going to show you my other site which has a WooCommerce integration activated. Now. If you wonder why is it useful then if you have a WooCommerce integration activated then through user journeys you can see the path your customers take on your site and what leads them to purchase. Analytics WP will also display the source of every order in the WooCommerce order management screen and it gives you a deeper understanding of where customers are coming from. But as I mentioned later I'm going to show you how does it work. It has a similar integration with Easy Digital Downloads and Surecart. If you're using site builders, then it tracks elementary button clicks, form submissions and call to action interactions. Same with Bricks Builder, Divi and Beaver Builder. It has integrations with the most popular form plugins that is Gravity Form, Contact Form 7, WP Forms, Forminator, Formidable Forms, Everest Forms, Ninja Forms and Fluent Forms. My site has Fluent Forms installed, so the integration has been activated. And now if I go to the journeys, then you'll see that it displays that there is one conversion by this user. And if I open it up, I'll see that this person was referred by YouTube, landed on this page, then visitor visited these pages here, went to the contact page, 
filled the form and sent me the email. This was the conversion for this person. If I go to the journeys, you'll see that currently it doesn't display any personal details and it's because all the visitors on my site are the ones who are not logged in. Here I have a site with the WooCommerce installed and the users can log in to purchase stuff. And you'll see if I open up this conversion here, you'll see event count is 14, details about the first event and the last event. But if you see the initials here, then these are the journeys of the logged in users. For example, I'm going to open up this one here. It says it identified with conversion, events count, user login, user email and conversion. Now, when I click on the journey itself, it displays the username, email, registration time, total events. And when I scroll down, I'll see all the information here about the page views and the time they spent on every page. Here's the information about the conversion. Not only that, if I come to the orders page, there is a button called view journey. If I click on it, then it opens up the journey for the specific order and I can see what was going on before the order was placed. One more thing, there is an option to open up the screen options, activate analytics WP source, and now you'll see the landing page, referrer and timestamps. Last one thing, if I open up the order itself, then the same information is displayed here and if I click on the view journey button, I'm once again here to see what was all the journey before the conversion was made. So, really nifty stuff. If you're on a journeys page, then you'll see the total people, identified people, total events, date range, and some other information here. Under the settings, you can disable tracking for these user roles. For example, I always disable tracking for admins. Also, I can give these user roles access to the Analytics WP admin pages. If I would like to add, how did you hear about us question to the checkout page, for example, on the WooCommerce, then I can select it here and select the position of the message. I can enable WooCommerce email order notification source section, and I can hide the agency explanation page. Now, what is the agency mode? Let's deactivate it, save changes and you'll see for agencies button here. If you open it up, you'll see that there's an explanation about it. Long story short, agency mode gives you the ability to set up centralized dashboard to view all your analytics WP data from one location without no external servers required. For example, if you have 10 sites and you gather all the information under one dashboard, you don't have to log in to 10 sites separately. If you would like to get the agency mode, then Click on this button here and you will be redirected to the pricing page. Now let's talk about the pricing. Lifetime plan for one site is $99 and for unlimited sites it's $199. These are the official prices, but if you take a look at the description of this video, then there is a nice 15% discount coupon for you. Just follow the link, use the coupon and you're good to go. So yeah, if you're looking for a analytics solution for WordPress, which is easy to use, privacy focused and is capable of providing useful insights instantly then Analytics WP is a no-brainer. I use it on all my sites and I'm really pleased with it. Wait, if you find this tutorial helpful then press thumbs up, this one here. And take a look at this side of the screen, it contains two good videos. I think you may find them useful. Meanwhile, take care, bye.